then i'm sorry i shouldn't have done this to you namaste world raisers sabina and roger here and today we're going to watch <laughs> <laughs> Watch this if you need to say sorry to someone by Gauch Gopal Das. Awesome. Okay, this is going to be good. Uh, can't wait for this. Uh, Gaur Gopal Das has almost 4 million subscribers. And this video has over 4 million views. So what can we say about it? Um, I don't really know too much about Gaur Gopal Das other than huge. So yeah. let's dive into this. But before, it was actually a request um, by Amit Yoga and uh, Pancelinos asked us too to cover this teacher. Awesome. In the year 2009, my father passed away. He was a patient of Parkinson's disease. Suddenly one morning, I just got a call from my mother saying he's gone. I remember when I was in university, for two years, I did not speak a single word to my father. We had some differences of opinion. Loving father, so upset with him. I did not speak a single word with him for two years. And just before I came to the Hare Krishna movement and joined the monastery, just a couple of months before that, my father came and fell at my feet, putting his head on my feet, crying and begging, Son, please, speak to me. I remember ignoring that request. My mom said, Son is your dad, don't do that to him, please. And just because my mother said, I started talking to him. And in a couple of weeks, I left home to become a monk just after I started talking to him. Every single year, from the year 1996 until 2009, I went home to see my parents. And I wanted to say, Sorry Dad, I shouldn't have done this to you. And whenever I went home, there's this three-lettered word called ego that told me you were right. Why do you have to say I'm sorry? I remember that word ego. I just couldn't say it. That morning, when I received a call from my mom, and my father had left, even in the year 2009, just before coming here to England, I'd gone to see my dad, thinking I'll say I'm sorry. I didn't. And it really turns very very much appreciative of the work that I did, was asking for the recordings of my talks and all of that stuff. And I got back from England and in just a month's time I received this phone call, he was gone. I went for the funeral. I remember putting my head at my dad's feet for the one final time. Dropping a few unseen tears who nobody would ever know until I told the story to you. And with those tears saying, Dad, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this to you. I shouldn't have done this to you. You never know how long people are with us. And you cannot take a chance to mess up with the most amazing experiences of love just because something happened. Ladies and gentlemen, forgiveness is the foundation of a meaningful, deep, true relationship. To let go if somebody has hurt us and to say a sorry if we have hurt somebody and letting things go is what makes relationships profound, meaningful, and deep. Which is why I say, when you say you're sorry, it doesn't mean that you are wrong. It just means 
that you value the person and the relationship more than being right you have to choose what do you want being right or love and if you want love sometimes you have to say sorry even if you are Good video. <clears throat> Excellent video. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, that brought me back to it's a very similar experience I had with my mom, right? She passed away quite a number of years now and she was gone from my life for quite some time before that and then all of a sudden she was back in it, but I never you know truly forgave her at that time and then uh so i had 5 years to reconcile the relationship but never did and then uh yeah and then she passed away so yeah that brought me back to that and right? then you became spiritual <laughs> yeah and then that's right when i became spiritual and it was like yeah oh my goodness so now things are good i feel in my heart but Yeah, I missed opportunity just by yeah, holding on to the grudge, the bitterness. And even, you know, with my mother, right? So, yeah, fantastic, really touching story. So, 2 years he didn't talk to his dad. Mm-hmm. Um I can actually top that. <laughs> oh. Cuz yeah, of course in my family there was stuff too and um I almost didn't see my dad for about 7 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. um until i came to buddhism and then i learned about forgiveness and how precious other sentient beings are and especially that we have a great debt to our parents mm. and uh, i remember coming back from australia from my first buddhist center and then yeah uh visiting my dad so that was huge <laughs> <laughs> so very touching video but it's very important mm. um yeah to mm. forgive one another and to be kind to one another and it reminds me of what Ajahn Brahm says it's not as being right is not as important as being kind mm-hmm. yeah and also just uh yeah. just in terms of ignorance right we see ignorance maybe sometimes you know as an excuse like i'll say you know people know not what they do you know whatever relationship it is you know they just don't know any better they're not spiritual yet but the thing is is that as spiritual seekers there comes a point where we do realize that even conceptually we start you know becoming more knowledgeable and wise into you know how the whole thing is working so then we need to rise up you know as spiritual beings and we need to take the lead right so it's not up to even though people are older than us doesn't mean that they're as spiritually advanced and that's not an ego trip in any way it's just you know reality some people are more awake than others so then we can you know forgive and let go and move on you know and cross the bridge you know back into wholeness um yeah and then uh just so that we can be close to our loved ones and because we can influence them more by being kind and forgiving and loving and nurturing and plus it also shows uh oh you know it's inspiring when spiritual people are actually being loving and kind and forgiving <laughs> and practicing <laughs> yeah. everything that we've yeah. learned so far So yeah the world is not going to change on its own the only way is if we change ourselves and we forgive the past become present let go and yeah and be in uh, states of joy so i absolutely love this video thank you so much for the request if you are not subscribed to gaur gopal das <laughs> go subscribe go check out his videos uh let's push him up over 4 million <laughs> love them and subscribe to our channel as well if you have not done so uh, remember to hit that like button uh leave a comment down below let us know what you think and remember raise yourself 
and raise the world. Thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to all our members. We love you. Peace.